Taiwan's ambitious effort to build a homegrown submarine fleet reached a critical milestone in June 2025, as its first domestically produced submarine, the Haikuen SS-711, successfully maneuvered within Kaohsiung port using its own propulsion. This development marks the beginning of active pre-sea trials and signals that the vessel has progressed beyond static dockside testing into dynamic evaluation. Constructed by CSBC Corporation at a dedicated facility in Kaohsiung and launched in September 2023, the Haikuen has spent months undergoing rigorous system calibration. The vessel's harbor movement without tug assistance confirms that its diesel-electric propulsion and control systems are operational. These initial maneuvers are part of a broader validation process to prepare the Haikuen for eventual deployment in deeper waters. Though precise dimensions remain undisclosed, the submarine is believed to displace between 2,500 and 3,000 tons when submerged and measures approximately 70 to 80 meters in length. It features a conventional diesel-electric powertrain, likely involving diesel generators charging battery banks that feed an electric motor. The hull follows a teardrop shape and incorporates an X-configured rudder for better underwater agility. The Haikuen's design lineage can be traced to the Dutch Swordvis class, which also served as the basis for Taiwan's older high lung class subs. Like its predecessors, the Haikuen integrates a mix of Taiwanese-built components and imported technologies, such as sonar, masts, periscopes, and navigational systems. The Indigenous Defense Submarine IDS, initiative, which includes the Haikuen as its first vessel, emerged after repeated attempts to acquire new submarines from abroad were blocked due to political interference and arms restrictions, particularly pressure from Beijing. In response, Taiwan committed to developing its own undersea fleet, assigning hull construction to CSBC and systems oversight to the National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology, NXIST. Foreign technical consultants reportedly assisted with the initial planning stages, including acoustic modeling and electronics layout. Equipped with six 533mm torpedo tubes, the Haikuen is expected to be compatible with heavyweight torpedoes such as the American-made MK-48 Mod 6. While the submarine has not yet launched any weapons, future trials will include combat system tests and live-fire exercises. Analysts believe its sensor suite includes bow-mounted and flank sonar arrays, along with electronic support systems for detecting and tracking underwater threats. Following its launch, the Haikuen entered a prolonged harbor testing phase, which spanned roughly nine months. Engineers examined a wide range of onboard systems, from propulsion and battery cycling to command modules and hydraulic controls. The June 2025 Harbor Transit demonstrated synchronization between propulsion, steering, and navigation mechanisms, an essential benchmark for the next trial phase in the open sea. Sea testing will take place off Taiwan's eastern coast, where the ocean is deeper and less congested than the Taiwan Strait. Test zones likely include the Bashi Channel, a strategic choke point between the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea. These deeper waters provide the necessary conditions for evaluating submerged operations, stealth characteristics, pressure resilience, and overall mission readiness under realistic maritime scenarios. The ROC Navy anticipates that its future IDS-class submarines will primarily operate in these Pacific-facing waters to perform surveillance, reconnaissance, and denial missions. This aligns with Taiwan's defense strategy of leveraging a layered deterrence posture, in which submarines play a critical role in detecting and deterring potential threats before they approach the island. Currently docked at CSBC's facility, the Haikuen remains in the final stages of system integration and crew training. Its transition to sea trials will determine if it can meet its expected operational timeline, projected between late 2025 and early 2026. A second submarine in the IDS program is already under assembly, incorporating feedback from the Haikuen's construction and harbor trials. Taiwan's existing submarine fleet consists of two high lung class boats from the 1980s and two much older high shi class vessels dating back to World War II era US designs. The IDS submarines are expected to replace these outdated platforms and usher in a new era of self reliant undersea warfare capability for Taiwan. The Haikuen is more than a vessel, it represents a strategic pivot in Taiwan's defense manufacturing philosophy. It reflects a commitment to technological independence and operational sovereignty, 
particularly as traditional arms supply routes grow less reliable. As the lead unit of the IDS fleet, its success will shape the performance and design refinements of subsequent submarines. Ultimately, the Haikun stands as a symbol of Taiwan's resolve to fortify its defenses below the waves, amid growing tensions in the Indo-Pacific region. If the upcoming sea trials confirm its capabilities, the IDS program will not only provide Taiwan with modern undersea platforms but also demonstrate that indigenous innovation can overcome geopolitical constraints.